Hi, this is Joanne Marie Rumford in Port Huron, Michigan in my apartment, and I'd like to talk about my cat Tessie today. I did an earlier video of her. Uh, she passed away. I had to put her to sleep um, at the veterinarian's office on September 8th, 2017 uh, on a Friday, and today is uh, sa Saturday, um, September 16th, 2017. Um, I made a comment in the, the video I posted of her before um, about her having a scab on her, I think it was, see, would be her left, let's see. Well, anyways, this is the picture of her I took on February 1st, 2011. And you could see there, I, there was an issue there with her. She had um, herpes. Uh, virus. Uh, and when I adopted her in 2009 from the St. Clair County uh, Animal Control, I did not know until uh, she got this uh, problem. And I adopted her in July of 2009. And this is taken February 1st, 2011. Um, it, it was an earache she had. And her that was the day she went to her uh, veterinarian appointment. Um, that was her first veterinarian that I found when I took her there, that they they did her, um, uh, was it spayed or neutered or whatever they call it for a cat. Uh, they brought her in and they, they found her roaming outside. She was about a year old when I adopted her. So um, that was her first um, veterinarian um, appointment for the earache. And here's another picture of her taken right after that one the same day. And then here's another one. I guess that would be her right temple, um, a blower ear. And this is her first appointment with her carrier. I don't know if this was taken after we got back or before we went to her the veterinarian clinic. And this was taken on June 4th, 2010. Um, I think this is the time when she had her a chip put in on the back of her neck um, for like uh, if she gets lost then I would be if they found her they would be able to scan it and see who the owner of me is uh, that they would be able to contact me uh, to let me know where she is if she got lost and uh, that was taken June 4th 2010 and I had said in the uh, previous the other video of her um, uh, the day before on Thursday um, September uh, 7th 2017 that uh, she had a scab um, uh, and uh, it was 2004 I said but it wasn't 2004 it was uh, 2011 uh, uh, February 1st when I took her in for her appointment for her medication and that. Um, I found out, I don't know exactly when I found out she had herpes, sim, uh, herpes uh, virus, but um, I had her, her blood tested for that. So that's what I found, they found of, of her. But anyways, I miss her very much. Um, and I wanted to clear that up because I said 2004 because she wasn't even around 2004. She was born in 2008. I adopted her in 2009, and she was um, about a year old then. They could tell by the teeth. And um, so um, I miss her <laughs> so much. And um, she will always be remembered by me and my family and friends. And um, thinking today that uh, when I get up sometimes in the morning, I think she's out here um, waiting for me to come out of my bedroom. Uh, she usually gets fed. She usually got fed at 10 o'clock at night because that way, if she got hungry in the middle of the night, she could go to her bowl and, and have her food. Um, and the next, it, the food would last till the, the following night. So, that was pretty good, and she'd have her treats and that. Um, there's so much I could say about her. I can't say it all in 
one video because it's not going to be long enough, but I did take her afterwards to another clinic. She was only at two veterinarian clinics in her, her lifetime. And uh, the second one is closer to me, and that's the reason why I uh, continued to bring her there instead of the first uh, veterinarian clinic because it was too far away, the first one. But at least I got to find out a little bit about her when I took her to the first appointment because I would have never, her first uh, veterinarian, because I would have never known that they did the uh, uh, the neutering for her. Spade, I don't know what they call a cat or dog, spade or neut or whatever. But um, uh, I would have never found that out. Um, I, I knew when I adopted her that she had it done. Um, I think that's one of the rules there that in order to adopt a cat or a dog, it has to be spayed and neutered. Um, and uh, she always was kept up with her rabies shots. Uh, she was taken, uh, she was go get going every year for her regular vaccinations. I think uh, it's called, one is called um, leukemia. And uh, I forgot the other one, distemper, is it? But um, she was never let out of the, the house unless she was with me out of my apartment. And it, if we went anywhere, it was just on the patio. But I would never let her out roaming uh, on her own because I was afraid she was going to pick up something, you know, like uh, she might get, uh, uh, we're in a forested area here. It's really wooded and that. And there's other animals around. And uh, also you got to think of the pet, uh, the pet, the um parasites, the um, bugs and that. So I didn't want her to bring anything like that in or her get a, uh, getting um, uh, bit by, like say, Lyme disease or something like that. So anyways, that's about Tessie. So anyways, um, I hope that uh, people that do have pets and, and they are thinking about uh, getting pets in the future, that they keep their, uh, uh, their pets um, uh, seen by a veterinarian because it's very important because if, if, you, if they don't, then the pet could develop into having some kind of a disease or um, something that can be fixed right away with uh, medication. Uh, but uh, I had to put her to sleep because she was, uh, I had her about eight years and she was, uh, her bodily fluids, she was, um, uh, it was a pink color, like she, it looked like blood. And um, she was never able to, she was continually going to her litter box. It was actually around, let's see, the apartment, my apartment got inspected, the monthly inspection is the second Thursday of every month. So the, I believe it was August is when I mentioned it to my, the, uh, man, the, the resident manager that does inspections and um, mentioned about, about her problem. And um, it wasn't that long afterwards where she was just going downhill from there. And uh, she wasn't able to go to the litter box. I mean, she was able to go to the litter box, but half the time she would make it. Um, and uh, so uh, if she needed any surgery or anything like that, uh, I couldn't afford it. I know people can't afford um, uh, things as such as their own health care let alone a pet's health care. So um, I don't think there was anything they can do for her. Um, and uh, having x-rays and um, also having surgery was out of the question. Um, I could not afford that. But um, we tried everything as far as medication goes, and that didn't clear it up. And um, it just seemed like it happened overnight that she had this problem um, as far as uh, relieving herself and uh, urinating or uh, re re relieving herself. So she had a stool sample the day she was uh, and that came back negative for that for parasites and that. And the uh, two weeks before that, before I brought her home to get her with her medication, two weeks before that, I took her to the veterinarian for emergency. And uh, uh, that's when they prescribed the medication for her. And I was giving her a pill a half a pill two times a day, which was a pill a day, one in the morning, one at night, for two weeks. And that didn't clear up. It was still pink that she was, her bodily fluids was coming out. It was, uh, it had to be blood. So, um, 
anyways, uh, it's good to have photographs as far as, um, you know, put, it, it would be a good tip for pet owners is when you have a pet and you have to take it to the veterinarian, take a photo of the pet and put the date and the name of the veterinarian in the back of the pet, pet photo, uh, name of the veterinarian in the clinic, and uh, the name of your pet, like I did here. And uh, it'll, it's kind of like keeping a record, having these photographs. So, okay. So, um, I guess that's it for um, clearing that up about 2004 because she was she wasn't even born yet in 2004, as far as when I said the other video saying about her scab on her uh, by her on her by her temple, uh, the right side. So there's another photo I have of her recent before the August, not August, September um, 8th or 7th I took of her. And, um, and it's actually the same side of her head that you could see that it, it was all cleared up from back in 2011. So um, that was the photo I took of her. Um, hold on, I'll get the photo. And I don't know if it's, I, you probably have to have it on, you probably have to um, go on my face, not my Facebook page, but YouTube, YouTube or Facebook uh, account and see in photo gallery her photo under Tessie. And um, you could see that photo of her that was taken on, um, I don't have an actual print of it, but it's on my um, computer and um, in my photo file. And it's a photo of her taken on um, uh, September 7th, 2017, on a Thursday. And it's a side photo of her. I took 19 photos of her that day. And uh, it's, it's a, I believe it's the 19th photo of her. And it's a side view of her. So it would be like this one. It would be like this, her facing that way. So it would be at her right is where the scab was. And I said it was in 2004, but it was. When I took her in 2000, it was in 2011 when she went for that doctor appointment on February 1st, 2011. She had a, she had an ear, she had an earache, and uh, the veterinarian was Dr. Quinn at Birch Birchwood Vet Clinic. Is that that was the name of the clinic, and that was her first veterinarian uh, that I took her to, and the second one was. Uh, uh, North River Road Animal Hospital, which is right up here by me. It's not very far. And both clinics were really good with uh, with Tessie. And I took her to the North Animal River Hospital. And uh, they were very professional and caring in that. And I, I went with her when she was um, first uh, uh, set, sedated. She had what they do is the first, they take one of the first the first uh, first uh, legs of her uh, front legs and they inject her with a um, something to sedate her and then the la the back leg one of the back legs then afterwards they inject her and that's when she passes on. I only stayed for the first shot and then um, I left the room for the second um, um, shot, which would put her to sleep. And so they were very professional and um, uh, I would recommend, and I want to thank them too for taking care of her all these years. Okay, so that's it. So today is uh, a beautiful day outside. It's, um, Tessie would be right there at the window looking out right now. And uh, we'd probably go out in the patio. But uh, so anyways, today is Saturday. September the 16th, 2017. So have a nice day and a nice weekend. Um, and uh, pretty soon Christmas will be here. And I'll be missing Tessie even then more so because we get up in the morning, open presents and that. And so she won't be here this Christmas.